So when we're staining natural cedar like this throughout the patio cover, you can see there's a lot of it on here up there. You want to, you want to put something that's going to blend the wood. You can see the highs and the lows in the wood. Just like this right here is a good example. You, you, can't, you can't make this wood pick your pieces perfectly. So what you end up needing to do to get the best look in a patio or anywhere where you've got outdoor wood, like cedar, you need to do some samples. And that's what this is here. Just some samples for our clients to do the staining, to pick a tone that's gonna really look good with them. And so we're actually providing two more samples tomorrow to make sure that they're really happy with it. And then what we were also able to do is show them how it aged by going to the website and showing them products, projects actually, where this product has been put on there. And we highly recommend certain stains for this because even though it's cedar and it's very, very good at outdoor, eventually it wants to crack a whole lot less than treated lumber. And by the way, I'm gonna make a comment about treated lumber. If you're getting your project done in treated lumber, if you're thinking about it, change your mind. You're not gonna be happy with the way it performs after a few years. With cedar, however, even if we did nothing to this wood, it would still look 10 times, last 10 times longer and look better than treated wood with doing nothing to it. But if you do what we're gonna do, which is staining this, and it actually is an oil penetrating stain that goes into the cedar, it's gonna look beautiful for 30, 40, 50 years even. And that's not an exaggeration. We've got projects that were stained 20 years ago and they still look incredible. So, and I know if I go back far enough, I did some decks back in the 80s that still are holding up. Some wood is going to wear if you don't, if it gets too much moisture, but these types of projects can last indefinitely with a, treating, with a, a good oil penetrating stain. And so that's, that's what we recommend for all of our clients. And it's gonna even out the tones in all of this. It's gonna age just a little bit, get a little bit darker, real nice brown tones. And what happens is it makes it all look like it was chosen out of the same tree a few years later. So staining is important. The reason we have the paper up is because we're doing a solid stain out here that matches all the trims on the house. And, and we don't want to get any on this. You've got to protect this wood. If you get something on it, it's not going to stain evenly. And so even some of these marks that we see on here are going to have to be pressure washed off so that they look, look more even. And, and that's just part of giving a really good stain stain project. You, you have to, to really take care of natural cedar. You have to be careful where you're, which pieces you're using. You have to be careful about the colors and then you have to get any dirt and any residual off it before you put these penetrating stains. But it's worth it because you get this fantastic look.